Glamour Fearless. It's Mr. Diva Bedick backstage at the ADA Expo in Pittsburgh, ready to take you on a behind the scenes look at my newest stage show, Diabetes Fairy Tales. Peak of Diabetes Fairy Tales. I'm here with Lorraine Starsky. Lorraine, you've been a part of every show for the last six years. We've done the Golden Girls, we did Jillian's Island, and this year we're taking on fairy tales and we're using some of the most popular characters to help educate and empower people living with diabetes to manage their care with confidence, knowledge, and inspiration. And one of the characters you're going to be talking about tomorrow, or two of them, is Beauty and the Beast. And the reason I chose this is I wanted to kind of bring in the emotions that are some, somewhat associated with having a lower high blood sugar, as well as the beauty involved in managing your diabetes. But you took my idea and you coined the phrase diabetes. So what is it? Tell everyone about that. Well, I think uh, diabetes can be anything that sort of um, derails you from, you know, living your life to your fullest potential. And sometimes it's um, emotions. Sometimes it can even be well-meaning friends or family. One of the characters we're going to take on together tomorrow is Pinocchio. And in the, in the fairy tale Pinocchio, his nose, cries, uh, nose grows because he's lying. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about some of the diabetes misconceptions that people don't know. Like, if I eat sugar, I'm going to get diabetes. How would you respond to that? Well, that's not really true. Eating too much sugar does not cause diabetes. Um, you know, people typically are genetically predisposed for developing diabetes. Certainly, if you eat an overabundance of carbohydrate foods, it's harder for your body to control blood sugars when you have diabetes. But it certainly doesn't cause diabetes. One of my favorite fairy tales, or one of the biggest messages that Diva Medic is about living out loud with your diabetes. And so really, for us, it's always been about educating people to feel that they can talk about it openly and share their diagnosis with others. So we chose uh, Rapunzel. And the concept behind Rapunzel was she's up in an ivory tower and she's kind of isolating herself. And it's so important that everyone living with diabetes let their hair down and come down from the tower. But that's a scary thought for a lot of people, Lorraine. It is. And so you what know, kind of advice some, can you give them? That well, moment? again, I think this goes back to sometimes the guilt, the shame and blame. A lot of people, when they get this diagnosis, they sort of shut down. Um, they kind of remove themselves. They don't, they don't want to tell people. They don't want to tell their loved ones. They don't want to tell their friends for a, a variety of emotions. And um, a lot of times it's depression. Sometimes diabetes and depression go hand in hand. It's like the chicken and the egg. And when you're depressed, sometimes you that also sort of um, makes Isolate you want, yeah, you. it makes you want to withdraw from the world. And another misconception we'll talk about with Pinocchio is if I'm taking insulin, my diabetes is bad. It's gotten worse. Yes, many people feel that people who are on insulin uh, have the bad type of diabetes. And uh, the truth is it's it, you know, irrelevant what treatment it takes to control blood sugars, but the bottom line is who has the best control of their diabetes. They're the ones that are uh, going to be in better shape, have less complications, whether it takes one pill a day or four shots a day. It's not the therapy that determines the seriousness of the disease, but the level of control that they have. Now, I chose Sleeping Beauty for the obvious reason of the correlation between sleep apnea and diabetes, but when I was working on this with Lorraine Brooks, I thought, oh my gosh, Max, it's about hypoglycemic unawareness. Most people don't know what that is, so if someone's sleeping next to them, it might not be, that might be, not be a very restful sleep. What is hypoglycemic unawareness? Well, hypoglycemic unawareness is when someone diabetes loses the ability to be, be aware of when they're going low and so they can become drowsy, sluggish um, and not be aware so it's very incumbent uh, uh, with whoever is around them, their support group, to be able to respond to that. 
Remember, check out all my videos on Mr. Diva Beck's YouTube channel and tune into our free monthly podcast with great educators like Jan Koshinsky at divabetic.org. Thanks for watching.